It's been one year since the 988 suicide and crisis hotline became available. Our Dr. Nicole Cross has more on the success of the hotline and the lessons learned. With me now is Kelly Clark, Vice President of the 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline. Kelly, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. It is our pleasure, especially as you mark one year that the Lifeline has been in operation, celebrating five million contacts so far. What have been the lessons learned this year? Yeah, it has been an exciting weekend to celebrate that one year anniversary. And I think what we are seeing is with the, the change in the phone number from being a 10 digit number to a three digit number, making it much more easily remembered. In addition to the investment that has been made, we've seen a lot more individuals reach out to access support and help during this period of time. And we've been able to serve those individuals uh, more quickly than what we had in the previous year, which I think is a testament to all of the work that has gone into making sure that 988 is an accessible service for everyone. And I know the 988 Lifeline is continuing to expand and build on the success you've had in the first year, including offering Spanish services as well, right? That's correct. So we've been offering Spanish calls up in, since the launch. Uh, but around this weekend, we're very excited to announce that we're actually expanding to include Spanish chat and text as well now. Um, so you can reach out, uh, you can text AUDA to 988 and that will now connect you into the Spanish sub network throughout the first year what we have seen is an lgbtq youth pilot and the demand that we've seen within that pilot um, has indicated that we have a need and are moving forward with an entire lgbtq sub network which will be available with a press three option in the menu for anyone who is reaching out um, in terms of expanding services even further, one of the things that we have coming uh, shortly will be an expansion into video phone for the deaf and hard of hearing community to be able to reach out and access support also. That's very exciting and very inclusive. Everyone needs help and assistance, so I'm glad to see it moving in that direction. Final question for you, Kelly. I understand there's a big marketing campaign going on. There was some research done, and fewer than 20% of people even know about the Lifeline. So talk about the marketing campaign. So there's going to be an awareness campaign that will launch in fall of this year. And it's really important that we help to spread the word about my date to the general community. And when I say general community, I mean not just those individuals who might need to reach out, but also if you have a loved one that you're concerned about, if you encounter someone that you think could benefit from support, it's important that we're all aware of 988 so that when that moment comes along or that crisis evolves, people already know where to go and how to reach out for support. And that's not an extra thing that they need to figure out at the time when they're already quite distressed. Of course. I know the goal is to make it as familiar as 911 for a physical emergency. So I hope that we get there. I thank you so much for sharing the details of the first year and what's to come. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me.